Well, we've been telling you all about the opening of the National People's Congress in China and that 5% economic growth target. Well, Premier Li Qiang also announcing plans to increase government spending in science and technology by 10%. CNA's Tan Yu Guan with this report. In his speech at the opening of the National People's Congress, Premier Li Qiang announced moves to pump in more money into major projects such as science and technology. As Premier Li Chang spoke, China's finance ministry released a budget report. In it, over 398 billion yuan or 55 billion US dollars was set aside for science and technology. That's a 10% increase from last year and the third biggest sum in the list of key spending items outlined in the report, behind expenditure on national defence and debt interest payments. The same paragraph outlined a 5% increase for education. In his speech, Premier Li outlined a two-pronged approach to China's push to be a technologically advanced economy. One, by fostering emerging and new industries, transforming traditional industries and unleashing the creativity of the digital economy. Two, by strengthening the foundations through building a quality education system, enhancing the caliber of tech talent and improving the country's self-reliance in technology. I think since the deep seek arrival, there's an increase in confidence in China, not just in terms of developing AI, but in the talent pool from the university. And I think in the speech, you talk about how to invest more into the secondary school or high school and giving free education and cultivate the talent. I think that's very strategic long term. And China will be publishing an AI education white paper this year as it pushes to expand its pool of tech talent. It was also the first time AI models were mentioned in the work report, which comes after the emergence of Chinese AI model DeepSeek. DeepSeek, the success of it earlier this year, made the government realize, okay, uh, technology is not just about relying on yourself, it's not, ju not just about industrial upgrade, but it also brings confidence to your people, especially when you face technology restrictions from the U.S. And that is this confidence that actually supported China's stock market this year and also contributed to the improved consumption in, in the past few weeks. So far, only broad government strategies have been announced. As they say, the devil is in the details. In the coming days, all eyes will be on how the ministries and the local governments translate those strategies into actual plans. Tan Yu Guan, CNA, Beijing.